Most actors would probably love a chance to score a role in HBO's Game of Thrones, and there have been plenty of A-list celebs who have tried to get on the hit series to no avail. But there was a time when that wasn't the case. Whether it was because of the grueling overseas filming schedule, gripes with the cast pay scale, or sheer confusion over the George R. R. Martin-inspired story, here's a look at some actors who refused Game of Thrones roles. Tamsin Merchant before Emilia Clark gained international fame as Daenerys Targaryen, Tamsin Merchant was originally cast as the Mother of Dragons for the show's original, unaired pilot. The first version of the pilot was, according to showrunners D.B. Weiss and David Benioff, a massive problem, and 90% had to be redone. We had this great opportunity when HBO decided to pick up the series despite um, all the problems with the pilot, we got a chance to go back and rewrite it." When HBO reshot, Merchant dropped out of the project for unknown reasons and moved on to Salem, opening the door for Clark to take over. Jennifer Ely Merchant wasn't the only original Game of Thrones star to walk away after its early problems. Pride and Prejudice star Jennifer Ely was also in the original pilot, playing Catelyn Stark, but she too walked away after the first take spelled trouble, due to unavailability for the reshoots. She went on to star in films such as The King's Speech, The Adjustment Bureau, and Zero Dark Thirty. She also nabbed a part in the television series A Gifted Man, so her career hasn't really been hurt by her decision to skip out on the role that ultimately went to Michelle Fairley. Jamie Campbell Bower Another actor featured in the original pilot who had to drop out was Jamie Campbell Bower. The Twilight and Harry Potter actor was originally cast for the role of Night's Watchman Waymar Royce in the scrapped pilot, but became unavailable once reshoots were scheduled. Around the same time, the actor was starring in the small screen series Camelot and readying for a lead role in The Mortal Instrument, so he was replaced by Rob Osleary. It might not have made much of a difference for his career anyway, since Royce was killed in the show's opening scene. Maybe that was an Roman? Brian Cox Given his impressive resume, Scottish actor Brian Cox might seem like a good fit for one of the Seven Kingdoms, and somebody on the show must have agreed. He admitted he was once offered a role early on but turned it down over the lack of loot. He told Vodzilla, quote, "...stupidly, I turned it down in the early days because they didn't pay enough money. Now they have more money. And I was silly. I was silly. It was silly because I'm a complete addict now." End quote. Cox admitted that he regrets missing out on his chance, especially since it's featured some of his old friends. He hopes he hasn't closed the door on that opportunity for good. Quote, I don't know what I could play. Maybe I could do… I mean, I just watched my friend Ian McShane and I thought, ooh, Ian's in it, so I settled down to watch him. And I thought, Ian did that? And immediately I thought, God, they must have paid him well, because I know Ian. I'm still waiting for the call for Game of Thrones and if they've got more decent money, I'll be there." End quote. Hopefully they listen, because, seriously, no one wants to be on the receiving end of an angry Brian Cox. Then you, my friend, don't know crap about life. And why the f are you wasting my two precious hours with your movie? Dominic West while it's not quite known which Game of Thrones role Dominic West was originally courted for, many suspect the Affair star may have been asked to appear as Mance Raider, the former Night's Watchman who became known as the King Beyond the Wall for his affiliation with the Free Folk. Whatever the role, though, West told Huffington Post in 2012 that he had to decline the lovely part because of family obligations. Quote, I was offered something on Game of Thrones, and unfortunately, I hadn't seen it. But my nephew and his father said, gosh, Game of Thrones is the only great show on. And I felt terrible because I just turned them down. It was a lovely part, a good part. I'm going to regret it. My problem is, I've got four kids, and at the moment, I'm reluctant to be away from home for a long time. I can get a lot of work in London and still be at home." End quote. Gillian Anderson X-Files star Gillian Anderson also had to say no thanks to a chance at Game of Thrones due to her obligations as a parent. She told Stylist Magazine in 2013, quote, "...whether it's Game of Thrones or Downton Abbey, my 18-year-old cannot believe I've turned down things she loves. But with a 4- and 6-year-old, I can't justify spending that kind of time away from home unless I'm working with Martin Scorsese." End quote. While Anderson didn't share which role she might have been offered, many speculate that, due to her famous red locks, she may have been a match for Melisandre the Red Witch. There is someone I work with I like. His name is Jon Snow, but I'm not really sure he's the right guy. Why not? I'm pretty sure he's dead. Jonathan Price 
Game of Thrones fans will undoubtedly recognize Jonathan Price as the actor who portrayed the duplicitous High Sparrow in seasons 5 and 6. But believe it or not, he was actually asked to join the show long before that and turned it down. As he told BBC Radio 4, quote, I'd said no to the very original series of Game of Thrones, and all I did was flip through and look at the names, look on these strange names, strange dialogue, and I thought, oh, it's not for me. End quote. What changed his mind, he said, was the High Sparrow's personality and presence. Quote, High Sparrow, it's a great character. He comes into the story. Everyone's well established, the goodies and the baddies, and they're all baddies in some shape or form. And High Sparrow comes in as again quite relevant because of the present Pope who presents himself as a man of the people who'll get down washing their feet and stuff. Yet he is this incredibly powerful figure who has the wherewithal to dispense justice. End quote. Perdita Weeks. This one simply has to hurt. The Tudors and Penny Dreadful actress Perdita Weeks was originally cast to star as Rosalind Frey, Edmure Tully's wife. But she backed out because her commitment to another series called The Heretics required her to be on location in Romania for six months. One problem? The Romanian government refused to let them film, and the whole show got scrapped anyway. Weeks told the Daily Mail in 2012, quote, I gave up a role on Game of Thrones to take the part and even rang the producers to beg for it back once I'd heard the news about Romania, but it was too late." End quote. The role was ultimately played by Alexandra Doling, although Weeks might not have missed out on much. The character has appeared in just one episode and was notably absent when her husband returned in season 6. Ray Stevenson Irish native Ray Stevenson was also given a chance to star in Game of Thrones in its earliest episodes, but he told Movies.com that he turned it down because he was simply not into the TV scene at the time, and that he's not willing to join it now since it's already too developed at this point. Quote, I was offered a role. I also saw them before they even started, very early on. I would rather have been cast at the beginning. I think it's wonderful, but it's not something I would come into at this point. I don't know if I would add anything to it at this stage. I would rather have been involved in the growth of a show, even though everyone gets bumped off left, right, and center. I kept seeing all the people I knew from Rome in it. But I can't, man. I can't." End quote. Given that Stevenson joined both Dexter and Black Sails in progress, though, it's possible he could still change his mind. Lily Allen According to singer Lily Allen, she turned down the chance to star in Game of Thrones opposite her real-life brother Alfie Allen. She would have been Yara Greyjoy to his Theon because of the ick factor associated with the roles. She wrote in a Reddit AMA in 2014, I've been asked to do a Game of Thrones cameo. They asked me if I'd be interested in playing Theon's sister. And I felt uncomfortable because it would have had to go on a horse and he would have touched me up in shit. Once they told me what was entailed, I said no thanks. Then again, she may have been pulling the internet's leg that time. Her brother himself later came forward to dispel her claim, telling Vulture that her words weren't true and that Gemma Whalen was always the original choice for the role. Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!